Hi everyone and welcome to week eight of our Home Olympics. So this week our focus event is gymnastics. So you will need to have a space that is safe for movement um, and as long as it's sort of got a bit of a soft um, flooring would be great as well. So I hope you enjoy uh, this week's gymnastics activities. Hi prep and grade ones and twos. So your gymnastics activity this week, there are three activities I would like you to try at home. But before I explain what they are, these are the things that you're going to need for your activity this week. So you're going to need to have have a clear, soft, safe space at home in order to move about in. You will need three items that you can safely balance on top of your head and you will need a timing item as well. So an iPad or an iPhone with the stopwatch, a clock or just count the Mississippis like we do in PE. So now that we've got all the things that you need under control, the three activities. Activity number one is a balance challenge. So you are the three items that you have chosen that are safe to balance on your head. I would like you to mark a start line and a finish line. And one at a time, you are going to balance those items on your head and go from the start line to the finish line. While you're doing that, someone needs to time you or you can time yourself. All right, once you've done act the first item, repeat this activity with the other two items. Activity number two is a cartwheel challenge. On the, um, the document that I have attached to your Google Classroom, if you're in grade one or two, or to the class dojo for grade preps, there are, are some diagrams on how to safely attempt a cartwheel. So what you're going to do is you're going to set the timer for one minute and you're going to see how many cartwheels you can complete in one minute. If you're in grade one and two, you can fill in how many you did on the Google Doc um, that's on your Google Classroom. Grade preps, just take a photo and put it up on the class dojo for me to have a look at. Activity number three is a forward roll challenge. Once again, there is a diagram on the document that's attached to either the Class Dojo or the One Two Google Classroom that shows you how to safely do a forward roll. Once again, you are going to set the timer for one minute and you are going to see how many forward rolls you can complete in one minute. Grade ones and twos, I'd love for you to write in the Google Doc how many forward rolls you were able to do in your one minute um, and add in any photos or videos if you're able to. Grade ones and twos, you will then need to be able to go to the tur turn it in or turn in that document for me to be able to see it. And grade prep students, if you can take your photos or your videos and upload them to your class dojo. So three really easy for some people, hard for others, but definitely challenging activities for you guys to have a try this week. Good luck.